One of the most important things to consider when designing a SharePoint site, or designing any site, is creating easy and intuitive access to data with logical organization. In SharePoint, it's useful to store frequently used pages, lists, and libraries in the Quick Launch Bar on the left side of the page. The Quick Launch Bar allows you to quickly navigate to pages you commonly need. Here we have landing pages that aggregate related data and furthermore may limit data to those things that are important to the specific user logged in. Your SharePoint developer determines which pages, lists, and libraries appear in the Quick Launch Bar. It's important to not consider the Quick Launch Bar as a site index. Remember, not all pages, lists, and libraries of your SharePoint site, unless your site is very, very small, should appear in the Quick Launch Bar. Only those needed frequently should be stored there. The Quick Launch Bar can be specific for every site or subsite in SharePoint. A quick etymology lesson. We're working inside a subsite right now. This demo subsite is a subsite of our main SharePoint site, titled Brothers Lane Collaboration Site, as you see in the top left. Sites may divide into subsites, and subsites may divide into pages. There is only a home page on our demo site. If there were another page, titled Sales or Legal Matters, etc., you see it here. So the Quick Launch menu can vary from site to site or from subsite to subsite, but not from page to page. All pages on a site or subsite will have the same Quick Launch menu. You can add a library or list to the Quick Launch bar by using the Settings tab as you see here in Test Library B, and clicking on Title, Description, and Navigation. Here you see the option to Display in Quick Launch. I'll select Yes, and here you see Test Library B in the Quick Launch menu. Find other SharePoint how-tos and learn more at blog.precipio.com.